Ron, I'm hanging in there. I took a nasty fall earlier today, but I'm feeling a little better. But, you know, I feel like this ice storm has really froze just about everything around us. And as most of us would like, as Katrina and the waves would sing, go walking on sunshine. I took a walk myself and all I noticed was ice, ice baby. <laughs> Guys, don't, don't make fun of me, okay? But that's why you have to be extra precautious when you take your walk. Snow and ice froze most of the sidewalks and small, small most of the sidewalks in Buffalo, and I couldn't help but notice they smart that, that people took smaller steps to navigate on the slick pavement. That was smart because the centers of centers of disease control or the CDC reports roughly one million Americans injured themselves just by slipping and falling on snow and ice. And in most cases, you can blame property owners who failed to clear their sidewalks and driveways. New York state law requires private property owners to clear snow or ice from the driveway and sidewalks in front and adjacent to their property. And if the ice is too thick to clear, attorney Stevens Sioka says the law requires you to spread ashes, sawdust, or some other material to give pedestrians some traction. With a slip and fall, the property owner has what's called a reasonable amount of time to rectify the situation. So when the storm is going, like we had over Christmas time, you don't have to go out there and start shoveling snow right away. You're given a reasonable amount of time to rectify the situation, whether that be salting, shoveling, or taking other measures. Now, Sioka says there isn't an exact amount of time you're given to clear your area. It's understanding the conditions outside the doors that's around you. Like right now, Sioka says he believes right now it's the perfect time to go out there and try to pave and shovel those sidewalks and those driveways. Others may feel like it's a little different. But at 6 o'clock, I can tell you a little bit more with the story and how today really impacted everyone's day. We're reporting in Buffalo, Keelan Berrien, Channel 2 News.